on the Pro Barbecue Circuit. Teams up and down here, every single one of them's got the story. Some of them are using Granddaddy's Secret. You may find it out as you roam the barbecue circuit here. When you go up and down through here, look at the different styles of cookers. Some are cooking on 55 gallon drums. Some are cooking on fancy painting jobs. Some are cooking on something that cost them less than 100 bucks to build, but all of them are pit masters, and all of them are trying to produce the best barbecue they can for the World Championship at the Sam's Club. The Sam's Club National Barbecue Tour is also sanctioned by the Kansas City Barbecue Society. Their judges will start taking turn-ins at 5 till noon till 5 afternoon. That'll be the chicken category, and we'll move through there. At 12 noon, we're going to do a workshop right here. We're sampling brisket here at the Sam's Club National Barbecue Tour Truck. want to thank New Zealand Lamb for coming out. Cargill's got some fantastic pork and some petite filet over there. Can't wait to taste that. I tried the peppercorn uh, petite filet just a moment ago. Tender and juicy. We also want to thank our sponsors that are being sampled throughout the club all weekend long. Pepsi, Tyson, Casey Masterpiece, Kingsford, Light Brand Bacon, Frito-Lay, Sweet Baby Rays, Hunt's Tomatoes, Reese's Main Street Bistro, The Pork Council, Bush Beans, XL Pork, Hines, Tone Spices and Seasonings, and New Zealand Lamb. Now, New Zealand Lamb has leg of lamb over there that they've butterflied out. Get up there, says you go. Right here behind you, though. Into the top drawer. Cut that tin off right there. Go this way, right there. So sample number six was my favorite, had a good blend of spices, it wasn't too salty, the uh, sauce complemented everything quite well. Uh, number four was my least favorite, still very good samples all across the board, but number four had just a little bit of uh, graininess, uh, a little, well, the spices didn't quite melt down uh, as well as they should have. Uh, I thought the texture on one and four and six were about perfect. Uh, I really did like the, the number six the best overall. Uh, the, the breast was really good, tender and juicy, but uh, they didn't have quite enough seasoning on it because they stacked it kind of wrong in the box and all the flavor kind of wiped off. I had some really good looking pieces of chicken. Uh, the breast was very good and tender. Some of the sauces were a little bit too hot or had a, uh, some kind of a seasoning I didn't identify with. I like number one. The tenderness was perfect and it had a little bite. Number two and three were a little bit dry. Number four was very good, but it was a little too hot and spicy. Uh, number five was a very good for a chicken breast, a little bit dry in places. And number six was my favorite. A little, little extra sauce, but it was very tasty and very tender. Appearance-wise, they were all beautiful. I mean, I really, really enjoyed looking at them. Uh, they were presented very well. Uh, number five for a breast was excellent. Uh, I believe it was the best flavor out of all these chicken entries. Uh, I liked uh, number two and number three peppery taste. They were good. Yeah, that's about it. All in all, I think the plate was a pretty good tasting. Uh, there were several that were overcooked, uh, and uh, there was one that was especially perfect as far as tenderness and tenderness. And then, uh, and I, I liked the last one the best for the taste overall. But all the tastes were good. I thought I thought that was the best taste.
I agree with him. I think they all were excellent. Uh, I think that though uh, they were a little, probably three of or four of them maybe were to me just a tad overcooked. But uh, I think they all were, were very good. The, the taste was excellent, but just maybe slightly overcooked. Uh, once again, I have to echo the uh, judges before me here. Um, everything was excellent, um, but I did have some overcooked samples. Uh, one of mine was uh, appears to have been a bit more overcooked than most folks at the table. Um, not uh, to an extreme amount, but enough to knock uh, down a little bit. Um, the first sample to me was probably the best balanced uh, out of all of them. To me, the best one was the fifth sample that we had. Good color, good tenderness, good taste. Uh, had one that was uh, too crusty, too dried out. Didn't like it. Okay, overall we had uh, great samples here today. Um, I preferred number two and probably uh, number five as well. Uh, the last one for me uh, was very fatty and less tender, very tough, uh, not a good taste. Uh, but other than that, we had good samples today. I agree, we had um, really good samples today. My preference was number two and number five. My number six was the opposite of y'all's. Mine was over tender and fell off the bone. So, but two and five are my favorites. were pretty good. The first entry I had was a little overdone and had a little bit of a taste I didn't like and the second one was really mushy but it tasted pretty good. My favorite I think was the fifth one. It had good texture and good taste and had a little heat. I like a little heat but overall the, the entries were good. Some were just a little overdone it got a little mushy on the tail end there but well, overall the, the flavors were there. The texture was a little off. I pretty much agree with what what he said. They uh, the first two were really mushy and and not really a lot of taste in the meat. Um, the third sample and the fifth sample to me was excellent. They had good texture. They had good balance of the sauce and um, it didn't overpower the meat. You could still taste the meat flavors in them. I kind of agree with what they said. Uh, number five was my choice uh, with number six coming in. Uh, it had just a little bit of dryness to it. Uh, number two sample actually had a good medallion and a good piece of pulled pork but the shredded pork actually had an off taste to it. Uh, but in general uh, you know, it was one of those deals. It's a pretty good plate of pork. Uh, there was no disappointments in it, and everything turned out good. 
I agree basically with what they were saying. Uh, my favorite, I believe, was number two. I had one that was extremely hot, like they had chili pepper in it or something, but overall it was a good uh, sampling of uh, pork. Well, when you get this far down the table with all of them, it's, it's nothing to be said. My favorites were two and five. My first two were mushy and overcooked and had a taste that I really didn't care for. My favorite was number five and six. Overall, I think they were average. Thank you. We got in there, Ricky. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nine? Yeah, nine in there. That'll work. Okay, I like number one and number three. Uh, number four was a little bit overcooked. Have, just fell apart. And number six had a little strange taste to it. It just, just wasn't there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I liked all of them. Actually, I only had one that I didn't like, and they were, I, I thought they tasted very good. The brisket was good. It pulled apart great. The burn ins tasted amazing. So I thought I liked them all. I got to say that this whole day has been amazing. Uh, I haven't had a bad piece of meat all day. Uh, <laughs> everything's been fabulous. The brisket's awesome. Um, I can't say anything bad about anything. It's been all great. My favorite was number two. Um, number one was a little salty. The others were very, very good, but number two was the best. We had a good slate of uh, brisket here. Um, my favorite was number two. It seemed to be cooked uh, tenderness to perfection and had a really good taste. The other ones tasted well, uh, almost as good, and uh, but a few of them were a little bit overcooked. I liked um, number four the best number two was my second I thought it was all very cooked very well uh, all of it was good and tender and the burn ends were really good hey this is Chris Turner at the Sam's Club National Barbecue Tour this weekend at the regionals we have a special competition from Tyson it's the chicken challenge it's a skinless boneless frozen chicken breast that the teams are cooking as an ancillary category uh, they're getting extra money this weekend there's a chance for five hundred dollars for first place three hundred for second and two hundred for third uh, this is happening just at the regional events uh, the teams have to cook an original recipe it cannot be one they've seen somewhere else and uh, they're gonna cook this chicken 
chicken and turn it into the judges, which they're going to follow all the KCBS judging rules. And um, this is a really good challenge. This is a great way to make a little extra cash on this tour. At the finals this year, they're going to be giving away $5,000 for the same chicken challenge. So these teams have a good chance to make a little extra dough. Um, we've had some great entries the last couple of uh, weekends. We've had chicken tacos. We've had chicken sandwiches. Uh, anything goes on this contest, uh, just as creative as they can be. And we sure do thank Tyson for being a part of our sponsors and uh, giving the teams a chance to be a little creative at the end of this tour. Judging the Tyson chicken is pretty interesting. The chicken and waffles could have been really good, but the waffle kind of came apart, had a good taste, the chicken a little tough. The next entry had some kind of stuffing in it, which the chicken wasn't too well done either. The slider, I didn't care for it too much. I didn't like the stuffing on the inside, and that chicken wasn't too good. And the last one was, it was decent. Had some kind of little cheese, cream cheese something stuffing, so I liked it okay. Yeah, the uh, chicken and waffle had a lot of potential. Unfortunately, the uh, waffle started falling apart because it was been sitting in the syrup too long. And uh, my particular piece of chicken was a little bit tough. Had a lot of potential, though. Uh, the slider was a pizza slider type style and uh, was very tasty, good stuff. And the fourth one, I think, if uh, just a little bit of seasoning would have really put that one over the top. Okay, with the uh, waffle, uh, it obviously fell apart, as other judges said, but uh, when I took the meat and just tried it by itself, it was one of those deals. It's, the meat was extremely dry. Uh, number two, uh, the chicken was undercooked, and even the bacon that was wrapped around mine was was had to lean to, towards the raw side. So obviously, it didn't do too good. Uh, the slider, uh, they had a good concept with it, but the tomato paste or sauce that they used on it was kind of overpowering as far as the meat was concerned. And then the wrap they had down there well, actually was my favorite of the four. Uh, had some kind of a cheese sauce in it, and had a real good flavor to it. I enjoyed it. Thanks, sir. Uh, my favorite actually was the waffle chicken. I took a little piece of all and you chewed it all at the same time and all the flavors came together good for me. I really liked it. Uh, as far as the slider, the others, uh, they were all good, but uh, the waffle was my favorite. Well, I'm going to agree the waffle was my favorite and then number five, the wrapped chicken was very well. I'll go that uh, my favorite was the number three, the the uh, little uh, crystal chicken. It was uh, had uh, flavor and uh, moist. Uh, did like the waffle, and it, I like the uh, contents of number two, the chicken wrap. Mm -hmm.